Good morning, Downtown STEM Academy. My name is Pranav Mandirata. And my name is Ryan Hires. Welcome back to another episode of STEM TV Quarantine Edition. We hope you had a great weekend. Let's jump right into it. But before we start the episode, we would like to remind you that STEM TV is still looking for students submitted segments to air on STEM TV Quarantine Edition Season 2. If you have any ideas or talents that you want to share, please click the link in the description below. Now to start the fun. Today we'll be introducing a new segment called With All Due Respect. It's a game show segment where students will battle and see if they can best our host, Savani Chigrupati. Let's hand it over to her now. All right, I do not think that I can stretch that far out to turn on the button, so somebody needs to get me an assistant, please, right away. So, everyone, you're probably wondering why my antics are interrupting your weekly dose of STEM TV. Well, I decided, with all due respect, that STEM TV needed a little, no, no, a lot of spicing up. So I decided to create this segment called With All Due Respect. And here is this lovely sign I made for it. Yes, I am totally copying Jade from Victorious, and I take no shame in it. Um, I feel like the title sounds super Judge Judy-esque, which it is not. I am not going to bore you with a legal show. Besides, I know nothing about legal words or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, it's a game show. So every episode that I do this, I'm going to be inviting students, you guys, to come play a game with me and I'm going to be hosting and occasionally participating. These games I'm going to be stealing from Ellen, Jimmy Fallon, YouTube, literally everything. None of these are my creation, but I'm too lazy to include sources and whatever, so I'm just saying them now. Anyway. Without further ado, let's get right into our first episode. Hey everyone, um, so to the game show, we're gonna be battling to see who can beat me every week. And our first week, our guest is Ola. Hi. So the first game that we're all gonna be playing is Song Association, which I stole from Elle this time. Um, we're going to each be given a word, we're going to take turns, and have 10 seconds to sing that word in a song. All right, Ola, do you want to go first or do you want me to? I can go first. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Well, as ready as I can be. <laughs> um, imagine a world like that, it's, oh, you know, it's Ariana Grande, forget how the, yep. forget the key, it counts. Well, you got it, so. Yeah. I was way too low for that, but that's okay. I knew the lyrics, see? I'm good at this. All right, next word. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the dream is always your heart makes. Marilla? Yep. All right, your turn. My turn. Like, we're tied. I mean, it's only been one song each, but <laughs> you're tied. Go. Uh, wow. I, I have nothing. I have nothing for life. I well, I have nothing either. <laughs> I can't. Are there really songs with the word just life in it? I can't think of any. Probably. <laughs> it, it, it'll come to me at night. All I can think of is the life of Pax the movie. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to go. Um, 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 um. Can't keep my hands to myself. Yes. That's, that's, I know what song that is. Selena Gomez, right? Yes. That's what it is. All right. Oh, um, ready? <laughs> yeah. Rainbow. Um. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow. There we go. Uh, Wizard of Oz. That note, that note was so good. <laughs> okay, next. Try to give you a point. Like, I do my hair, toes, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? 
Ooh, I can't do the rest. All right. You ready? Yes. Next word. Hello. Um, oh my gosh, it's it's the song, you know, like the get low when the with the flowers. <laughs> I forget how to sing it. It's that it's one of those techno songs. That counts. You that counts. You you said it, you said it with like a rhythm. Get low. I'll give you a point. Thank you. I'm 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 so I know so many songs. That's all right. I bet everybody watching will probably do worse than us, so that's all right. 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 Run, run, lost boy. Yes. So long. Yes. In the middle of that song, I was like going through the verse and chorus and verse and chorus. I thought of a song with running. I don't know if that would have counted. There's so many country songs with the word run in them. So. Yeah. Mm. Right. Word number five, I think. I think. All right. I it does. No, that doesn't count. Heart. Um, I got an elastic heart. That one. See ya. See ya right there. It's a good song. It is a great song. Okay. <laughs> and I say the same, the same, the same, oh, like the same, the same, the same, no. Yeah, so Justin Bieber. I don't think, I don't think if Justin Bieber exists, didn't exist, I would not have gotten that one. Really? So thank you. I wouldn't have thought of Justin Bieber. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Oh my goodness. Black Eyed Peas. Oh, is it like, and I'm feeling good? Does that count? I'm pretty sure that's Michael Bublé, but yes, that counts. That's, that's not like I pee. That's, I don't, <laughs> I don't recognize that. I, I That's a TikTok song, I think. I don't that's know. Like, I'm pretty sure that's Michael Bublé. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Does that count? Yes, you got it literally at one second, so. Oh. You're good. Ready? Yep. It's your turn now, right? By the way, we're currently tied. We're tied? Oh. Yeah. Hey there. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Oh. Right. I think this is going to be our last word. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get a hard one. you got, you got to get this one. Oh, I don't think I will. <laughs> it is currently five to six. Oh, Unless I counted the score wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, see, I'm hoping for a easy pause the video, video. Tell your friends your predictions. Post this to your Instagram stories, and make your <laughs> prediction as to who's gonna win. And who knows if you tag Dazzy Sem TV, maybe if you got it right, we'll give you a prize. <laughs> All right, ready, Ella? Last word. It's the um. Okay, Black Pink. Stay with me. So, so stay with me. La 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 Stay with me. Again, literally at one second. Oh! I don't know how you keep doing this. I'm just really gifted. Okay. If I get this wrong, I lose. Oh. So, we'll see. Actually, we're tied right now. Actually, it's six to six. Um. If I get this wrong, then we have to do like a redemption round. If I oh. get this right, I win. Okay. So, see, we'll see what happens. Okay. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. Never seen anybody do the thing you do before. Right. So, with a final score of six to seven, I remain the champion, even though this is the first episode. Um, still, still, I am the champion. So if you think you can beat me, check out the link in the description box below and sign up to be featured on future segments. Thank you so much, Ola, for coming today. Thank you for having me. All right. Come back next episode for more fresh content. What an interesting segment, Sanji. We can't wait to see what you have for us next time. If you would like to be a contestant on future segments, 
please check the link in the description below. Next up, we have STEM Weather, hosted by Brendan. Fall has officially started, so make sure to bundle up and stay warm. Let's hand it over to Brendan now. Howdy, STEM Academy. How's it going? My name is Brendan Schmolenberger, and today we have another episode of STEM Weather Quarantine Edition. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So for today, we're going to have a high of 65 degrees with only a 20% chance of rain. We're definitely not going to be seeing much sun though, as it's going to be cloudy for pretty much throughout the entire day. Uh, winds coming from the southeast at 6 miles per hour. That leads us right into tonight with a high of 50 degrees. And then once again, only a 20% chance of rain. Definitely going to be seeing some clouds, no moon tonight. Uh, winds come from the southeast at 3 miles per hour. And then, of course, we're going to go right on into tomorrow with a high of 71, definitely bringing up from those uh, chilly temperatures we're going to experience today. Once again, 20% chance of rain. This time we're going to be seeing a little bit of sun throughout the afternoon uh, with winds coming from the south at 6 miles per hour. Then going into the rest of this week, we're going to have a high of 71 degrees, just like tomorrow. Oh, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, Thursday, we're going to have some more scattered clouds. We're definitely going to be seeing a little bit more sun before it all goes away. Uh, going to be the highest temperature of the week as well, 72 degrees. Uh, Friday is going to actually go down to the some uh, showers, going all the way down to a nice uh, cool 69 degrees. And then Saturday and Sunday are also going to be both 61 degrees, Saturday being some mostly cloudy skies. And Sunday, we're going to see some of those morning showers rolling in. So that's all we got for you today, Downtown Stump Academy. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and we'll send it right back to the studio. Thank you, Brendan. Remember, as it's getting colder, make sure you're wearing some warmer clothes. Next up, we have STEM Happenings, hosted by Apierna. As always, she'll be hosting an interview. We can't wait to see who she'll interview today. Take it away, Apierna. Hello, Downingtown STEM Academy, and welcome back to STEM Happenings. This is Aparna Vugbella, your host, and this week we'll be checking in with another member of our wonderful staff. So joining us for this week's interview is Mr. Zakarda. Thanks for joining us on the show. Hey, everybody. So let's just start with a quick check-in. How have you been so far, Mr. Zakarda? I mean, how has the school year been treating you? Uh, school year's been going great. You know, it's definitely a, a different style of teaching, but uh, I adapt. I feel like I adapted it well. The students are adapting well. Um, I said, what's, what's the hard part is keeping up with my kids' work as well. So uh, they got their Zoom sessions going on. So I'm, I'm keeping busy here at the house. Well, it's good to hear that you've been doing pretty well. So moving on to our first question, what are some of your favorite hobbies? I mean, especially this summer, a lot of people had a lot of time on their hands. So have you been dabbling into, into any new kind of activities or maybe improving on something that you've done already? Yeah, so uh, uh, I'm a big outdoors type uh, person and we enjoy uh, going out on the boat. So <clears throat> we're in a new spot right now where we live and we haven't traveled much of the waters. So I was able to get the boat out on the Schuylkill River a little bit. Um, we checked out the place up at uh, Blue Marsh. So that was pretty cool. Um, did a lot of like home improvement projects, which is uh, again, keeping, uh, keeping busy with that kind of stuff. and. I'm trying to think what else did some fishing which is always nice and fun to get out there uh lots and lots of hiking with the family which is cool um whole new trail there's a whole trail system out there get the get the app it's called uh, all trails it's really good and it's free yeah going outdoors and kind of spending time with family has been kind of a common theme and it's also really great uh, a really fun thing to do so kind of going off of how you said you've been going outdoors, I mean, a lot of us have kind of been sitting at our desk all day, staring at our computer screens. So what have you been doing to kind of stay active throughout this time? And do you have any recommendations to students for how to kind of get up and get moving? Yeah, uh, that's it. You have to get up and get moving. Uh, we're sitting in front of these computer screens a lot and you have like during if you have some type of a break go out take a dog for the walk take a dog for a walk go climb I always tell my students to go climb a tree um, but you know just get outside get that get that sun to rejuvenate you a little bit um, it's important to stay active especially right now because we're we're sitting a lot you know mm -hmm. so Kind of going on to a random question here, kind of taking off into another category. So if you could travel anywhere in the world safely, where would you go? 
you know what? For the longest time, and yes, I am a bio teacher, but I always wanted to go to this place, the Galapagos Islands. Um, just a lot of history there. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's got to be beautiful. Absolutely. And like the creatures that inhabit it, that uh, those islands are pretty wild. Mm -hmm. So I think I would travel to the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, I've always wanted to go there too, actually. So now coming into our last question, actually, let's end it on a similar note to how we did with Mr. Namoro a few weeks back. Do you have any advice for the students watching this interview right now, whether it's about school or life in general, whatever you want it to be about? Stay positive. You have to stay positive during, uh, uh, during these times. And I know it's hard, but you gotta, you gotta rely on friends. You gotta rely on family and stay positive. It's going, it's going to get, it's going to get better. You know, um, I always think of <laughs> like happy thoughts, you know, just like, you know, count your blessings type of thing. Um, yeah. And for those that who know me, I'm, I'm a pretty positive person. Um, I smile a lot. So, uh, I, I think that's my recommendation for everybody is just do your best to stay positive. We'll yeah. Thanks for those wise words. It's definitely important to kind of keep that positive mindset throughout these times. Yeah. So yep. that's all of the questions we have for you today, actually. So thank you so much for joining us on STEM Happenings today. Absolutely. It was, it's great. Thank you very much. All right, STEM Academy, I'll be back soon with another interview. But until then, have a great week. Take care, everybody. What an interesting interview, Aparna. We can't wait to see you next week with another amazing interview. Unfortunately, that was the last segment we have for you today. Of course we aren't gone yet. Don't forget, we'll be back next week with some more fresh content that will be sure to entertain. Before we go, we would like to remind you to join STEM TV to help us create new episodes of STEM TV Quarantine Edition. STEM TV allows for you to pick which specific weeks you want to participate, so STEM TV can best fit your individual schedule. If you're interested, please make sure to check the description below for more details on how to join. That's all we have for you today, Downingtown STEM Academy. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next week with another edition of STEM TV Quarantine Edition. Peace out.